feel like I'm wearing one of those, um, like, I don't, I, it's a, it's a sweater, but looking at this in the viewfinder, it looks like I'm wearing one of those, um, uh, like graduation photos. Like when I took my composites, like in college, like for my sorority, like you have to wear that little velvet thing. Now you're not going to be able to unsee it this entire video. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sammy Cole. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thumbs up if you like what you see and comment below what you want to see in future videos. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a quick 15 minute look um, and it's the take two my go-to look when I just don't feel like getting ready but I really should probably wear makeup because we're going someplace look my 15 minute quick get ready without kind of doing a whole lot type of look my go-to what my my quick I don't feel like doing this look whatever just stick around and you'll see what we're gonna do let's just get started for this look today I am gonna start with my face and put my base on I am going to beat my face as normal so whatever that means to you um, if you're looking to try new products I will I'm gonna kind of like go through this really quickly because I want to get to the eye portion um, but beat your face as normal as you would do your normal base um, if you are following along at home um, beat face as normal step one so I am taking my Juno have a hair tie on no thanks taking my Juno & Co moonshine miracle cream as my primer buy one get one $35 link in description step two we are going to be taking my, my current everyday foundation, the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect, pumping two and a half pumps, this spank. Okay, moving right along. So I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, that is my everyday go-to concealer, and we're gonna conceal. Now I'm going to set my face with airspun loose facial powder in naturally neutral. Alright, so for bronze, blush, and highlight, I am going to be going in with the Juno & Co. Cherry Bomb Palette. Um, I got this, I did the buy one get one where I got both two primers for $35. I got this little palette, and then they sent me this cute little brush set. So I'm going to be using these brushes for my bronze and my blush. Taking this... It's a little bit more, it's a Juno Co brush, it's a little bit more angled. And I am going into whoop, this color here, this the bronzer. Then I am taking 
just washed my hair last night, so then I just straightened it this morning, so it's like kind of <clears throat> second day hair is always the best hair, hundred percent. Taking this brush, it's a little bit like fluffier. It's also a Juno and Co that I got, and I'm gonna be putting it into this color here, the blush. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's pigmented. Don't need a whole lot of that. All right, now we're gonna highlight. So I'm taking this smaller, fluffier brush that I got with my Juno & Co brushes. And it's this is probably actually more of like a blending brush for your eyes, but I wanna use all my Juno & Co brushes. And um, so I'm gonna use it. It's my favorite part about makeup is there's best practices, but there's no like hard and fast rules. You do what you want. I'm taking this highlight here, the more champagne-y one. We're gonna put that. I feel like this is gonna be. Well, that's it. That's the base. The face is done. So that did not take us very long at all. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. All right, so the eyebrows are done. So now moving on to the eyes. This is kind of the part that I'm like, I wanna put makeup on, I wanna get ready, but I really kind of don't wanna get ready, uh, but I, don't want to go without makeup. So what I do is I keep it very simple. So we have everything done. When I did my concealer, I put some of that on my eyelid as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set, you might be able to skip this step. It all depends on you. My eyes will crease because I still have it on here. Like it'll crease up in there. So I take this, it's a little bit more of like a flathead type of brush from the Juno & Co. I'm taking my setting powder, just putting a little bit on there. And I'm just gonna set my eye as if it was like, just put it all over my eyes as if it was eyeshadow. And I'm really gonna put it in the crease to make sure that the concealer doesn't bunch up there. You could also, I'm kind of doing that because I do this a long way, you could take this a little bit on like a smaller sponge um, and do this as well to kind of set your eye with a powder. All right, so now I'm going to go in a little bit more and I am just going to do a winged liner. I am taking the NYX Professional Epic Wear Waterproof Liquid Liner. And normally I like a felt tip and I like the felt tips that I've been using, but I've tried doing the felt tip on camera before and you can't see it when I'm laying it down just because it lays down so lightly. So I'm gonna attempt this. I'm gonna attempt to talk while I do this. It's going to be difficult, people. I don't know what's going to happen. When I do it, I connect, I make my first line in my outer corner, and I kind of put it in the direction of where my bottom water line is going. So I keep that direction going and up towards where my tail is, tail of my eyebrow. So that's the first line. Then I might, I do things like a little odd. I go to my inner corner and I create that line. And I line that as if I wasn't doing winged liner. 
Then I'm going to connect the end of this and put it towards, bring it towards the middle of my eye. And then just connect it. And that gives you the shape of the wing. And then you're just gonna fill her in. She's not the cleanest, but if you don't do it very clean, like I do, I'm not gonna do this step probably because it's not that big of a deal. But if it's not very clean and you wanna sharpen up the bottom, just take um, a concealing definer brush, some concealer, and you can just put it right under there to really make it a little bit more snatch. Wait until it is completely dry because if you don't, you're just gonna smear and drag it up and ruin your whole face and get very angry. I personally think the hardest thing for me with Wings liner is trying to like make these look remotely like sisters because there's always like this one is like a little bit more upwards and this one's a little more straight out and one always turns out really great and the other one's like eh. But if you are still working on winged liner and like you're struggling with it something that I did um when I was just like practicing on how to do it I wouldn't do any of my makeup I would literally just have a bare face and I would just just practice the wings liner because I used to get really frustrated when I would do my full face of makeup and then I would try a wings liner and it wouldn't work out and then I would just have to start over completely so if you are still working on the perfect winged liner, that is my suggestion. Work on it with a bare face, then that way all you have to do is take off the liner um, and you'll get it. You just have to keep practicing. Now um, we are going to move on to the eyelashes. I am not gonna put falsies on today because this type of look is something that I do when I don't feel like getting ready. And when I don't feel like getting ready, I sure as shit don't feel like putting on false lashes because that takes me too long. So you're just gonna do mascara. So I'm gonna take my little curler. You're gonna throw them up here. I do like 20 pulses when I do it. I lost count. And then the last one I just hold for a little bit longer. One thing whenever I use that liquid liner, it gets in my lashes and then it like dries in clumps. Is that, does that happen to you guys? Like if you use liquid liner, does that happen to you? Is it user error? How do I prevent that from happening? Because then my lashes, should, I mean my lashes are trash regardless, which is why I usually wear falsies, but um, it makes them extra trash because it makes the mascara, like they're already clumpy before I even put mascara on. It doesn't even give me a fighting chance. All right, so then I off camera went in with my um, white eyeliner, did some bottom mascara, and then I just added a little bit of highlight to my brow bone and the inner corner just to make those pop a little bit. So the last thing, um, when I do this type of a look, Sometimes I do this because I don't feel like getting ready, but sometimes I like to keep the eyes a little bit more simple and then do a really bold lip. Depend, it will depend 100% for me personally on my outfit. However, for today, I've got like these couple different ones, you know, I have a, you could do like a bright pinkish, that's like a pinky red, um, you know, a darker nude. This is like a burgundy, it's almost like a purpley though. Uh, it's almost like more of a gloss, but for today, 
I'm going to go in with the classic red. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills American Doll Liquid Lipstick. So I don't have a bright red lip liner as of right now. With the applicator, I'm just going to line my lips. kind of blind. Let me just take it. All right, and then last but not least, we are going to take the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And that is my quick I don't feel like getting ready 15 minute don't feel like putting on a whole lot of makeup but probably should put some on type of look. If you guys liked this video please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and comment below what you want to see in future videos. Thank you guys so so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy.